How's it going everyone? Maryland here and that's right I'm back with another pre-release video. I am today at the Top Cut Comic Store in Loves Park, Illinois, right in the Rockford area. Going to play some Crystal Guardians. Wait, no, not Crystal Guardians. Going to play some Rising Rivals. Wait, no, not Rising Rivals. What is it? Guardians Rising. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I'm going to play Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. It's the second set in the Sun and Moon block, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a pre-release event, which will be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. You guys actually really liked the last one. I was surprised. It's really awesome. So now with uh, the magical power of my iPad, I know I'm that guy recording with an iPad. What you doing, Maryland? But it actually works well. With the stand, I can record the cards. I don't have to bring any fancy equipment. So we're just going to have a good time. There might be a few cameos here and there. Gee, I wonder who, wonder who that guy is. I know, right? <laughs> After the fire red leaf green sleep block, we may have a Cephazon in the house. So we'll see how he does throughout the day as well. But uh, it's, it's going to be fun. I have no clue what's in the set. I'm going to find out. And uh, I will cut back to when I'm opening up my packs. And we'll see what I get together. Sound good? All right. See you then. Okay. So I got my box of Guardians Rising in, which is super cool. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So again, this comes in a, not a pre-constructed deck, but a sealed deck with some packs in it, which is nice. Uh, go ahead and open it over here. Sorry, it's a little close. I'm doing this again for my iPad, but once we get the packs, it should be a lot better. Okay, so here we go. Let's see which of the four uh, kind of started kit things here. Oh, Drampa! That's the uh, the other one I was thinking. So this is my, I don't remember what they call it, but like my core, I guess. So everything in here is basically something that will get me started with whatever deck I end up building. On top of that, I also do have four booster packs to expand my deck. I need to make a 40 card deck with these four packs with whatever's in here. And then energy cards are supplied at the event, which is very nice. So, let's see if we can do this. Show ya. Alright. Gotta set aside this code card, though. So, we got Trampa here. Doo -doo -doo. Now, this thing actually looks kind of decent for a pre-release. You search your deck for a basic energy and attach it to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Um, but Power Cyclone, 80 for 3, so I could be doing 80 on turn 2 really easily with that. I know I'm going to be playing that in my deck. That's awesome. Finishing Stinger. Uh, if it has no damage counters on it, or if the active Pokemon has no damage counters, it does nothing. It's actually not too bad. Alright, let's see. Gligar, 10 to 2 of your opponent's bench. That could be interesting. Mudbray, double kick. Choice Band. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more to your opponent's active Pokemon GX or active Pokemon EX. Interesting. Um, Professor Kakui again. Lily. Nest Ball. Mudsdale. Ooh, that's pretty good. This Pokemon has a Pokemon Tool card attached to it. Does 60 more damage. It's interesting because I think that's also one of the uh, pre-release promo things. Honchkrow, Feint Attack, does 30 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, and then Raven's Claw, 10 more damage for each damage counters on all of your opponent's Pokemon. That's actually really cool. Ooh, I like it. Uh, Murkrow, Pansham, and oh, Arcario! And you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn. You may search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. That could be interesting in this pre-release kit, I have to say. Alright, Timer Ball and Pangaro, Magnum Punch and Sky Uppercut. So I have a lot of different cards in here, a lot of different types. I'll have to figure out what the heck I want to build my deck with, but we're gonna, we're gonna open up a pack and see what I get. Alright, so we got Beldum, we got Patilil. Fletchling! A Lolan Geo dude. Uh Barboach. 
Belda. First foil. Oh, another Oricorio. Hey. Interesting. Fairy energy. Oh, it's so cute. This Komala. Komatos. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you attach an energy from your hand to it, it's now asleep. Oh, jeez. Hypno Roll. Can be used if this Pokemon's asleep. If it's not asleep, it does nothing. That looks like it'd be pretty good in my deck, too. Another Gliscor and a Machoke. Oh, wow. That's pretty good with its ability. Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on your bench Pokemon. That's actually decent. Okay, so I definitely like the Oricorio, uh, and I definitely like some of the other things. It's three, right? All right, let's see what we get. We got Chansey! So cute. Machop. That's a cool pose for it. Alolan Sandshrew. Uh, Murkrow. Could be good if I want to play that. Oh, Helioptile. Got Fletchinder. Really? Robopass. Energy really? Link. Attach an energy card for your discard pile to this Pokemon. Interesting. Oh, the Fable. Hmm. Not all that great. Lampen. Beware. Rake it in. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve onto your Pokemon during your turn, you may draw three cards. And then if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it has 60 more. Wow, this actually looks pretty good, too. I think I could go with, like, a colorless kind of deck, to be honest. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, especially since Drampa doesn't take any specific type of energy, and I can move the energy that I pull from the deck to my bench. All right, let's see. So we got Rockruff. Uh, Taylo, Nose Pass, Salanda. Oh man, that is some awesome looking art. Jeez. Another Murkrow. Another Pancham. Gothitel. Tractor Beam. <laughs> Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. It does 30 damage to the new active Pokemon. And then Link Blast does 130 if they have the same amount of energy attached. It's interesting. Marini. Bailout. Uh, Alamomola. Put a basic Pokemon from either player's discard pile onto its owner's bench. That's interesting. Enhanced Hammer. Well, I've gotten garbage in my pack so far. Not a single foil or rare or anything. Hopefully, this final pack has something at least somewhat decent. Because otherwise, that's pretty bad. Alright, let's see if I can redeem myself, huh? Murkrow. Vanillite. Oh, I see something on the side. Cast form. Weather Teller. Search your deck for over two stadium cards. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck afterwards. Interesting. Snorunt. Very happy Snorunt at that. Hansham. Oh, sick looking Heliolus. Quick attack and raging thunder. Three damage from one of your bench. Oh, this Vikavolt GX looks sweet. Dang. So I think that's the full art Vikavolt. That's pretty cool. I don't think I have anything to play it though. Looks like we're staying. But for let's round two. see. Charge beam. 50 attach an energy card from your discard pile to I this Pokemon. And Super Zap Cannon, which does 180. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. And then its GS no, GX attack is 60 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Wait, that's no, pretty heavy. Wow. That's cool though. Uh fire energy. Another beware, which I kinda like. Brooklet Hill. Once during each player's these. turn, that player may That's search the their deck for a basic play. water or basic fighting Pokemon, put it under their bench, and shuffle their deck. That could be good if I play some of that. Hmm. Wow. The Slowbro's facade. If it's burned or poisoned, it does 80 more. Interesting. Okay, so I gotta figure out what the heck I want to build my deck around. I can't really use Vikavolt because I didn't get Chargebug. And I didn't get, uh... Rubbin, so this is kind of just sitting here looking pretty. That's okay. So I'm probably gonna end up making like a colorless style deck, very rainbowy and kind of centered around Drampa, I guess. But I will, uh, I'll cut back to my finished deck when I'm done with it. So I'll see you in a moment. All right. So here's a look at my deck. It's not all that great, um, but you know what? I'm gonna go with kind of a rainbowy theme. I'm gonna use. I'm going to use Drampa to Power Cyclone to move energy that I search for with its amass to, you know, kind of charge up whatever I end up starting with. Of course, that's just assuming I start with Drampa, but even at that, Oricorio should be able to use Vital Dance to get me whatever energy I need, which is kind of nice. So, 
yeah, we're just going to have to kind of see how that goes, but that's what I got. All right, so I'm all done with game one. I ended up winning that. I started with Drampa and like uh, Pangaro and Gligar, which was awesome. And um, the, the one thing about that was it was great. I was worried because he had like a GX marker and everything. So I'm like, oh, great. He's got a GX. I didn't play the choice band in my deck. So I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. So what I ended up doing was just using Drampa, turn one. It was awesome. And um, it, was, it was great because it worked flawlessly. I ended up two hit KOing whatever he had out in front. It was like a Whalmer. And then I had a Kukui that did the extra 20. I needed to do 100 for the... Um, uh, what was it that I did 100 for? It was Pseudo Wudo, and that was awesome. So I ended up just destroying with Trampo. It was awesome. And he didn't even have a GX in his deck after all. It was just a, a, a thing. But yeah, anyway, game one, I won. So I'm 1 0 right now. We'll see how I do for the rest of the day. All right, so I am all done with round two. It actually went a little too well. I feel bad. I had to fight against one of my friends, Io, and like. She started with a cast form. I started with Gligar, but it can only hit the bench. So that was rather unfortunate. Um, but she couldn't get any other basic Pokemon out, and I had Glide score in my hand. I just needed three energy on it. So after I had the three energy on the third turn, I just kind of evolved it when it was asleep, which cured the status condition, which was great. And played Kakui, dropped some birds just for fun, and yeah, I mean my Murkrow and Arcorio, of course. But yeah, uh, in the end, it was like, it was really sad. I feel bad about that, but oh well. I'm 2-0 right now, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, we'll see how I go in the final game. All right, so I have gone ahead and I have actually won my third and final game. It was crazy. It was the best game I had all day, though, because... Um, all right, so I'm trying to remember how it all went, but I know that I had my, oh, what was it, my Pangaro going, and that thing was just crushing what he had. He had, I think, a Honchkrow, and I ended up, like, crushing that, and then right at the last moment, he ended up dropping a, um, he had a Mudsdale, and it had three energy. I didn't think it'd be able to want to kill me. He dropped Kikui, and that did plus 20 damage, so I got knocked out, which is a shame, because I had a Kikui in my hand that I was waiting to use, um... To knock out the Mudsdale in one hit. I would have been able to do that because I did 130 with Pangaro. Mudsdale had 140, but unfortunately he knocked me out. I decided I drew another Kakui. So what I ended up doing was nearly dying. <laughs> That's what happened. But in the end, I used, um, what was it, a Gliscor and Kakui at just the right moment. And I ended up taking out the, the Honchcrow, not Honchcrow, the Mudsdale, and then just swept with guillotine on fly score so i ended up winning it was a really close game though it was one of those i thought oh i have this in the bag and then i thought oh no i've lost it he's totally crushing me and then i ended up winning so it was down to one prize card one prize card on each side and then i got the final one but it was good so i got three packs now that i'm gonna open let's see what kind of good stuff i can get oh yeah <laughs> don't ask okay anyway it's time to open up these three packs. So let's see what I get inside of these, huh? Doo -doo. Hopefully I can get something good. I'm not overly satisfied with my, uh, my whatever it was, Vikavolt. All right, so I got Mudbray. I got Salandit. Oh, I see something in the background there. I got Stuffle. Finally, I got that thing. Oh my gosh, that's Slowpoke. It's so amazing. It looks so relaxed. Wishy-washy. Huh. All right, interesting. Helioptile. And, oh, Como O GX. That thing looks really cool. 240 hit points. Adamantine Press. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less from attacks. Shred. 130 isn't affected by any effects. An Ultra Uppercut, 240. Jeez, that's overkill, I'd say. Fighting Energy. Metang, a Choice Band. Field Blower, <laughs> okay. Uh, choose up to two in any combination of tool and stadium cards in play and discard them. Interesting. All right, that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. Homo oh, looks awesome. All right, pack number two. Get stuff out of the way. We got Mudbray. Got Alolan Sandshrew. Got Cutney. Bowsprout. Gligar. 
Alolan Sand Slash. Oh, that looks really cool as well. Slush Rush. Once during your turn, you can draw a card. That's pretty nice, actually. And then Whiz Cash, Water Pulse, and Land Slip. Wow, discard the top three cards of your deck. It does 100 for each energy discarded this way. It's very expensive and very situational, but that's a lot of damage. Sligu, really happy Sligu! Search your deck for up to two Sligu and put them on your bench. That's interesting. Another Beware. And Aether Paradise Conservation Area. Wow, that's a long name. Uh, basic Grass Pokemon and Basic Electric Pokemon take 30 damage less for the opponent's attacks. That's interesting, I guess. All right, well, very cool. So one pack remains. Let's see what I get inside. All right, we got Tentacool. We got Kefiri, Kefiri, Litwick, Gligar, Vanillite, Machop, First Foil, and ooh, a Full Art Mallow. That's awesome. That is awesome. Very cool. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top of it in any order. That's really nice. Dang. <laughs> so that was a good three packs there, I'd say. Very cool. Well, anyway, that does it for the morning pre-release. I'm not sure if I'll be playing in the afternoon one or not, but I'm going to go grab some lunch. And yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed this bit. So I didn't end up playing in the afternoon. I decided, you know what, I'm going to work on editing the video instead. But I have something really funny that uh, i got to share with you for the end of this video. All right, we good? We good? Oh, <laughs> we're live? We're live. <laughs> this is the most beautiful card ever, but it seems that Rayquaza left his dentures at home. Hello there, Shia, you found my teeth. I was going to use pipe, but I don't have any teeth for it. <laughs> oh, how many teeth, mate? I haven't eaten in days. I haven't had a bite in days. <laughs> Sounds like pain. <laughs>